Hello and welcome to my F124 driver crew mode here today for round 3 of the 2024 Formula 1 season. We're here at Imola then, coming off the back of the last race in Japan. We're coming into our final lap in qualifying now. Our first one was terrible, our second one in 1.2 seconds up on our best time. We're going to cross the line to start the race, P12. Imola, or to give it its full title, the International Autodrome of Enzo and Dino Ferrari. Enzo, one of the most evocative team creators in history, this place is named for their legacy, and it's a beautiful tribute. 3.1 miles of track at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 tracks as it's driven anti-clockwise. Let's hope nobody forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leaning as it does into the longest straight on the circuit and it's only DRS zone. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Perez, Stroll, Albert, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Russell, Bottas, Brown, Gasly, Sonoda, Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Oscar Piastri, Ocon, Magnussen, and Joe Guan Yu. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? And so we welcome you to the commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes alongside me for this race, and it's going to be some race, is Anthony Davidson. Well, they say you're only as good as your last race. And on evidence there, that was very good indeed. How do they carry that form through to today? You've done it once. Can you do it again? But, you know, if you start believing in yourself and the confidence starts to build, that inner confidence is what you need. And you can carry that through to future races, including this one, and you set that ball rolling. That's the critical thing that they're looking for here. And I believe if you've got that first race win or, or a win at any stage, it can start to roll with you in a good way. The formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. Almost ready to take the start of the race as the cars take their positions on the grid with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. So here we go then, the five red lights come on ahead of the Grand Prix. And we're underway at Emily. We've got a good start. We've got to the inside of the Mercedes. Now we're going to switch it off the outside where we've really had to lift off there. It's put here in the back of them. We've got a wheel on the grass. Going into town when we had to lift off a bit. But we've gone round the outside. It's quite some cars. The side by side with the Ferrari is kind of science and they've gone off the track. Through the gravel, Fernando Alonso overtakes as well off the track. We're side by side with Bottas, we're going to force Bottas off the track. And we've gained a couple places at the start. Look, it hasn't been the best of starts. We're really going wide and off the track. But now we're on the back of Fernando Alonso. We get him back after we lost the place. We're going to send it very late, go for a lunge at that time she came. But now we've put him offline, going into the penultimate corner. But we let him up my get him before we even get to that corner. And we do. We're up past Alonso, up inside the point in P9 from P12. It's been a good start, better start than it was in Japan last time. But Alonso is using the switch stream to come back at us. They're side by side, heading into turn one. He's ahead, it looks like we are. We are ahead, and we've got Alonso on the opening lap in the end. Now can we push after the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz? 
Now that we've got to the inside of Sonic Lap Time 1, we have to drop down we're going to give him the elbow, we are through. We need to go in these places early because there is rain predicted further on through this Grand Prix, around halfway through, as there's Lewis Hamilton battling in the corner, we're on the back of our teammate now, Albon, we nearly made contact with, but we're past our teammate and we're up into P... P8 now. Can we get off the eight in front? The answer was really no, we were just staying in touch, but lap 10, the rain has arrived, now how wet is it going to get? It's just meant to be a small shower, that should pass over fairly quickly, but... What is the track going to be like? We're not far off the back of, of Paris, who needs a good weekend after what happened to him in Japan when he got stuck in that big DRS train, it's just like we did as we go towards the second sector of the lap. And now, hold on, he's going back out down the inside, the smart thing to do is probably let him go again here. Yeah? But we keep it behind him, he's still ahead. I'm going to for now, as we go okay, on to lap 12. I might say about 4 minutes, I wouldn't call it going that far, but how one is through. <laughs> He's got us before we even get to turn 1, and you can really see how the pace has dropped off for us. We're nowhere near the cars in front. Now, as we're really, really struggling now to get the okay, car out of the corners. One. See how much of the road Albon's got in just about half a lap. As we try and get off the chicane, there's no spray coming off of the tyres. I think it is time for the intermediates, or near enough time for the intermediates. It's Carlos Sainz now. He's going to re overtake us. They're all going to send it back down the inside at turn one. Sainz has the outside line. We're trying to do the switch, but we've nearly dropped it coming out of that corner and sights is through and now we might lose out to Alonso but we certainly do shots on Fernando Alonso we keep him behind but we've lost out to Carlos Sainz now though Fernando Alonso is getting closer and closer to the back of it into the chicane where we overtook nearly overtook him as we have a big mistake going out of the corner with lots of multiple positions as two three Four, maybe even five. We've lost a handful of places. It is time now for the intermediate tyres. We're skating all the way around this track. Yuji Sonoda is on the inside of us. They're all staying out. I think it's time now. So we're going to box for the intermediate on lap 13 of this Grand Prix. The end of lap 12 onto lap 13. We are going to fall right to the very back, of course. But our medium tyres are going to go off. The heaters are going to go on and hopefully we've timed it right. And we can gain a lot of time on these cars that have stayed out of the extra lap. It's not the quickest off stops, 2.9 seconds. So that might hurt us a bit. But hopefully this is the right time for the inters. As we come back out onto the track, the, we had so much grip on this open lap compared to the last one. And let's see if we can get that gap down as we have a big tank slapper coming out of that corner. And now this one lap later, there we go, we're through. These are everyone in boxing now for Inters. Carlos Sainz has it's beat out Albon, so we've missed out a bad stop there. But we've really taken Sainz and Albon. But Sainz is coming back at us because we had absolutely no pace in these winter conditions. We really were struggling. And Sainz is all over the back of us now. We nearly got past us. This time though, at the end of lap 19, onto lap 20, Sainz is very much close to us. He's alongside us. He's got us before we even get to turn one, I think. We're going to keep the inside line though. Great later, we kept him behind. As Sainz goes back to the inside of us, those at the, at the road have disappeared. So let's come away and find a way through it. I guess we need to try here. As Sainz is going to go around the outside of us, we force him wide, and that's exactly what we needed to do. Push Sainz off a bit, maybe a bit cleaner than that, and give Albon 
the chance of overtaking him. And now he's going to have a go at us, and the smart thing to do here is to let him go, really. But we've pushed it wide, we've pushed Alex wide, and now he's going to lose out to Alonso. But he's kept Alonso behind just. Has really run wide. Now Albon's alongside us, and Albon has got us now. And I think the smart thing to do was to let him go. As we are falling back, Albon's disappeared up the road, and now Alonso's coming back at us. Lap 24. I think the rain is starting to stop a bit. But we're keeping Alonso behind a four now. As the end of lap 24, the rain has stopped. And I think it's near enough time now to go back onto in the drive and Albon is as well everyone's boxing here it is time for the dry tyres he said it was a small shower but it only lasted what, about, about, about 10 laps yes now we can just pick it and it's a slow stop for Alex and we've got to sit in the pit so I'm waiting for him it's all gone wrong in the stops again for him just like last weekend this time worse we've lost so many places after a slow start for Albon, he was quite a distance up the road that should have been timed perfectly. The double stack, but it hasn't, and we've dropped back miles. We've gone to the medium, everyone else has gone to the hard. There is only, what, seven laps to go, so I don't see a point off the hard. So we should have the obviously have the tire advantage, so let's see if we can use that to good effect to get us back into the points we're on the back of George Russell now we're going to send it right up these are as we can and catch him napping now we're on the back of Piastri we battled quite a bit last time out in Japan now we're going to go to the inside down the inside of Piastri copy and paste of what we did to George Russell clap 29 now on the back of Sonoda who is really battling the side we're going to try and make it a free wide but Sonoda slams the door now we're going to try and go around the outside of the Sauber but he keeps us behind at four now we're going to look at the inside going into that second chicane but we're too far back it is Bottas who is really pushed off on the opening lap of the crowd play we're getting closer and closer to Bottas now we're going to copy and paste of what we did to George and Piastri there three times in a row into that chicane. Now we find ourselves in P11. Can we get Sonoda for a point and a bit of a comeback drive after that poor pit stop? We're getting closer and closer to the back of Yuki Sonoda now. The sun has come out and we've got him way before turn one there. Going on to that first one, now can we pull away? As this is Max Verstappen for the second weekend in a row, it's been cruise control for him as he wins in Imola once again. It's a great win for him. Charles Leclerc, unlike his teammate, has had a trouble free race and will finish P2. And Lewis Hamilton has just held off. Lando and Perez to get a second podium in a row and we've held off Sonoda and Bottas we will come home for one single point and the fastest lap so that's two points for us it's a performance that our Emilia Romagna Grand Prix winners can be justifiably proud of and I'm sure there'll be celebrations tonight and it's always good to get that momentum on your side and it's really good for your confidence as well. The more confident you are, the further that can take you. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here.
So that's been the Grand Prix here at Imola. Mixed conditions always makes a great race. It's been won by Max Verstappen. Charles Leclerc getting on the podium as well. First time this season for him. Lewis Hamilton, it's back to back P3s for him. And for us though, a P10 and the fastest lap. So it's two good points. Albon as well getting in the points with a P7 that's a great one for him but it kind of shows where we could have been if it weren't for the double stack going wrong and down at the back was Kevin Magnussen was still dead last in this race Daniel Ricciardo for the second race running finished P19 Max Verstappen extends his lead in the Drivers World Championship from 7 points to 29 after George Russell finishes down in P14 this weekend poor weekend for him and once you give Max Verstappen a lead in the world championship it's very hard to close that back down especially the form he's been in the last two races as well Charles Leclerc with that podium is now just a single point behind George Russell for us we are P11 Alex has jumped us to P10 and there's just one point in it between us so Red Bull continue to lead the constructors from Mercedes they extend that gap out from two points points to 17 ferrari and our third we are sixth salva p7 we've jumped them and then it's alpine rb and haas who are still yet to get off the mark as mentioned though last time out we had a secret meeting with mclaren after the after the australian grand prix and then it got leaked out to the media last time out in japan but we've stayed loyal to Williams and Toto Wolf. We have ended those talks with McLaren. So that's been then the Grand Prix here at Imola, but it's another point scored and it's double points for us as a team as well. We go though to Monaco next. Goodbye.